Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. To this point, all of our video blogs have focused on tactical flashlights. And while LZ is known for making the toughest flashlights on the planet, we've actually been making flashlight mounts longer than we've been making flashlights. So today we're going to talk about flashlight mounts for rifles and shotguns. Now, every owner of a firearm should be intimately aware with Colonel Jeff Cooper's four rules of firearm safety. Rule number four states to always identify your target and what's beyond it. Well, needless to say, in a dark environment, in a low light situation, the ability to identify the target and what's beyond it requires a light source. So having a light on your rifle or shotgun is not a luxury. It's not a nice to have. It's an absolute essential necessity that every defensive gun must have. So today we're going to talk about flashlight mounts for rifles and shotguns. Now one of the first considerations you're going to have to think about when putting a light onto your rifle or shotgun is simply the attachment mechanism. What means are you going to use to get that light onto your firearm? Now if your firearm has a set of Picatinny rails, maybe it's got a newer set of key mod or M-lock rails, or maybe you've got Mo handguards that have the new M-lock slots or even the legacy Mo handguards, something like our mini CQB modular weapon light is going to attach directly to that mounting platform. So if you've got, again, key mod, M-lock, Mo handguards, Picatinny rails, you've got all those various locations, this is going to attach directly and you're all set makes life very easy. Of course, not all weapons have systems like that in place for attaching accessories. So what do we do in those situations? So what if you don't have those mechanisms for directly attaching a flashlight mount to your weapon? Well, no problem. We've got solutions for those as well. For example, AR-15s, M16s, M4s with standard A1 or A2 front sight bases can simply use something like an LZ ZFH 1500 flashlight mount attaches to that front sight base, doesn't require any kind of secondary system for attachment. Similarly, if you have a shotgun, doesn't have rails, the LZ ZSM flashlight mount attaches to the magazine tube and barrel, allows you to get that light on your gun without a rail system. So don't despair if your firearm doesn't have the modern rail systems or other accessory attachment points, there are solutions available. And let's look at some of the other options and other considerations you want to think about when choosing what mailing system is right for your gun. Now with all these options available, how do you know which one's best for you? Several considerations to think about. First, you're going to want the flashlight positioned in a location on your firearm that minimizes the amount of light that's obstructed by the firearm. In other words, you don't want this to create just a giant shadow of your gun on the wall. Now the ZSM, for example, is configured in such a way that it gets your light pretty close to your muzzle, so most of the light is going to go forward, but it's also set that it gives you a soft illumination on your front sight, effectively giving your shotgun a night sight when you need it most. Also, a major consideration is your support hand placement. I want to emphasize support hand. Always make sure your weapon-mounted flashlight is activated by your support hand. Never, I repeat, never allow your flashlight to be activated by the same hand, let alone the same finger that works the fire controls and the trigger of your gun. It's a negligent discharge waiting to happen. So look and pay close attention to the way you operate your gun and where your support hand naturally rides. In this case, on this shotgun, my support hand is going to go here, and I want that flashlight push button to be very near where my thumb naturally is, but it needs to be a deliberate movement to activate it. In other words, I don't want it under where my thumb is, lest I accidentally turn the light on, but it needs to be very convenient to turn it on. Also consider in tactical situations, lots of times you need to shoot with your support side. So that flashlight position needs to be in a location that when you're shooting support side, you can still easily activate that flashlight. In this case, I can activate the flashlight with my index finger on the opposite side. Slightly different technique, still very easy to achieve. 
Now, if you don't like the idea of having a different technique to activate your flashlight when shooting primary side versus support side, you're going to want to make sure your flashlight activation method is ambidextrous or symmetrical about the weapon's center line, which is going to put you to a 6 o'clock position or a 12 o'clock position for the activation. For example, our ZFH 1500 flashlight mount mounts at what people would call a 6 o'clock position. So if I'm shooting support side or if I'm shooting primary side, my technique doesn't change. My support hand simply slides forward and activates the flashlight. Now if you're running an asymmetrical mount but still want to achieve that same technique for Activating your flashlight, whether it's support side or primary side, you can achieve that through using a remote tape switch. For example, this is set up with our ZRX flashlight mount on the right side rail of this rifle, but we have it set up with a remote tape switch that's on the top rail, effectively making it symmetrical in terms of activation. A great option to keep those different activation techniques exactly the same, one less stress point when you're switching to shoot support side. Today we've been talking about attaching flashlight to your rifle or shotgun. This comes naturally from rule four of firearm safety, that you must be able to identify your target and what's beyond it. Well, rule number two of firearm safety states to never allow your muzzle of your firearm to cover anything you're not willing to destroy. Which brings us to the important point that a weapon mounted flashlight is not and never should be used as a searchlight. Always remember that a weapon mounted flashlight is illuminating what is being covered by the muzzle of a deadly weapon. So while it is essential to have a flashlight on your rifle or shotgun, it cannot and must not replace a handheld flashlight for search and evaluation. Hopefully this video blog has been helpful. Please check out the rest of our video blog series for more information on tactical lighting and learn what the other guys won't tell you.